so I'm assuming this is the best way to do it but uh, basically just knife him um, and of course the bus is leaving so I'll end up getting stuck here because I think that thing can actually break down your bus and I do not want him to do that Oop, max ammo should have waited for me to be fully reloaded Ouch. So I want to get through this round and then I'll deal with him at the end. Um, I don't... I'm assuming he can't really hit you. Okay, maybe he can, but you probably get hit less if you're moving around. I don't know. I guess I still seem to be getting hit quite a bit. Let's see if I can make a crawler at round six. Let's try. No, I cannot. Um, I'll lead this zombie away and then I'll knife him a few times. Well. No crawler for me. Then he'll start sprinting, yeah. If I had the bowie knife or... No! I missed! If I had the bowie knife or... The galvel knuckles would probably help too, but... I'm assuming this would go a lot faster. Yeah, so I got him right there. see if I can get a better weapon. Oh, well, we'll just look at that. I got an EMP grenade just after I killed him. How wonderful is that? Um... Yeah. I will guess I'll just train around here for a bit. And... Yeah, I need a B-23s basically out. I mean, nine rounds. That's not even a full clip. I'll probably end up replacing that next time I buy the box. Unless I get, like, monkey bombs or something. Can you get monkey bombs? Because now that I think about it, I don't think I've ever... What is... Oh. Carpenter. I don't think I've ever seen monkey bombs in transit mode. And I've played quite a bit. Maybe there is, and I just haven't been paying attention, but... So I could also... Oh, double points. I could also get another achievement here, but I'm not going to do it because it'd be kind of useless. Where you have to stun... Holy drops. You have to stun uh, at least 10 zombies with one EMP. So there were, there were probably all 24 zombies right there. And that gave me an insta-kill, which I do not really want. So then he'll start sprinting, and... I'll buy the box again. XM something, or whatever. I don't remember what it's called. Oh, it's the War Machine. I don't even want that. Oh, it's funny because I think, actually it's not really that funny, but I think more weapons, like there are certain weapons that show up more often because I've gotten the war machine quite a bit. Executioner, don't want that. I think that is, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Uh, let's just craft the, uh, the zombie shield as of now. If you've used the zombie shield... It's pretty crazy because you can kill like multiple zombies with one melee attack and they go flying and it's pretty funny. Come on, add it. Hurry, 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 hurry. There we go. And then car door is on the car. Sometimes it's right there, but this time it just so happened to be on the car. 
I could probably go to town right now, but that's not really where I want to go. I kind of want to go to, uh... Yeah, I can't get that. I kind of want to go to, uh, the power station and get Tombstone. So get an achievement, and also I will take less damage from lava, so that'll be better. And I kind of want stamina. That'd be a helpful part. Okay, so now I have to build something at the farm. And no bus. So I could wait here or could just run, but that is sort of... It's kind of a long way. It's not horrible. Also, um, I might as well, like while I'm at the power station, I might as well put the turbine down by, oh, the bus is here, by the, uh, um, I don't know what you'd call it, by the door thing, so I can open the, so I can open the, uh, the Pack-a-Punch place and build the machine. And, yeah, I wonder if you can use an EMP grenade on the Pack-a-Punch machine. Climb on the side and... And die, apparently. Then... I guess if I... I probably could stay at the farm for a little bit and, uh... Just wait for the... Or not wait for the bus to go around, but, uh, like, just travel without the bus. Because I don't think the next area, I don't think the power station from there is terribly far, far away. I don't know. I don't think so. I mean, it's always hard to tell how far away things really are because of those denizens that always attack you. And you... Yeah, they slow you down quite a bit, and I still have my M14. And yeah. See, so hearing that, hearing that the lightning, it kind of scares me because I always think that, uh. Oh, I actually got some. Because I always think that, uh, the Avogadro thing is gonna come back. Um, I built, I have actually built this, uh, this turret before. Let's see if I can get a crawler. And I did power it with, uh, my turbine. It wasn't amazing, but because it only shoots in one direction. And I think after a while, I don't think it breaks, but I think it just stops shooting. So you kind of just have to, uh pick it up and then place it back down but it's it's pretty cool I guess uh, did I just see a drop no I didn't I thought I thought so but no a shotgun no, no no don't leave don't leave I need to get more ammo I'm not actually leaving though because I've got business to take care of here. Almost shot the crawler. That would have been a tragedy. So actually... I don't know if I can get this in solo though. Yup! MP5. But now, now I just have an M14 in the fridge. And M14's garbage. And it, apparently... Apparently, you can't, uh, store, um, the M19s in there, too. I sort of understand that, but whatever. So I got this lawnmower on the outside of the house, so I'll put this on here, and that's that. Uh, here's a teddy bear for the song, which I'm not really trying to do. Um, then here, it's like an ammo bag. And then you... Make sure the zombie isn't near you, and then you craft this. And... Is that, and... The other thing you have to look for is a gun. Yes, yeah, so you actually have to look for a gun that you can't use. 
And that should be in here. Let's see. Last time I found it, it was like up there. But I have no idea how many different locations a gun could actually be in. So, yeah, here it is. So what is here? Yeah, double tap. I might want to buy double tap because I actually recently found out that double tap in this. I don't know if it does actually increase your fire rate. I feel like it does, but maybe it doesn't. But it actually increases uh, damage your, uh, your gun does. So, that's nice. Okay. MP5 and B23R. Let's do this. 6,000 points, and... You should be able to get through that lava pool. I did it. I think I even did it without Juggernaug, so... If you sprint, and then just jump a bunch, and hope that you don't get attacked by the Denizen, and just follow the road... And I'm not really going to bother with shooting them. Ah, oh, it always happens. Now that the round started, I am actually going to bother with killing some of them. Except apparently this one. And... So there, if I want to go to Not Karen Toten, I turn down that. And on the left side, there's also another pathway, and I hear a zombie, and I'm scared. Just throw that, hopefully kill one. Unfortunately, you don't get points from these things. I sort of understand why. Because then you could just, like, sit out here and kill all these things. And get a ton of XP easily. Oh, he did get on it. So yeah, this this is where it gets challenging when uh, you're close to an area where uh, zombies would normally spawn and you're in the fog because then you're getting attacked by both the denizens and the zombies and your vision is extremely blurry and you can hardly see anything. So, ah, and of course it's in the middle of a round, so hopefully I can get a few crawlers. So I won't be able to place down the turbine or else the zombies will just destroy it. And actually, I do want to stay here because uh, there's another craftable item here. And uh, I don't want to be stuck up here. And uh, tombstone is not here. What the heck? Wait, is Tombstone in different areas? Or like, cause, huh. It's weird. Unless, now I really doubt this, but unless you can only, unless you can only get Tombstone while the power is turned off. But like I said, I really doubt that cause that doesn't make any sense. But you can always turn off the power, right here, but, I don't know, maybe I'll have to try that, because the perk's usually there, I don't, I have no idea why it's not, but apparently, it's not always there. So, I've got 9,000 points. And I guess it's always nice to have a few crawlers other than just one or two. Because then... Yeah, never mind. I can't, I can't keep a train of thought going. I'll just... Thank you. Um... Let's see, I'll just rebuild some of these barriers for a few more points. And, yeah. Well, I'll have to try turning off the power and then turning it back on. To see if it'll, like, respawn there. Because that's the only place I have ever seen that thing. So, 
Okay, so this is one piece for the uh, for the electric trap. I don't know what you would call it, but I feel like he's really close to me. Eh, sort of. And a battery over here. Right there. And there should be... See, cables, those are for something else. And is the bus already back? It is, dang. And another piece is... Uh, hmm, I think it's a light. Yeah, it's a light-looking thing. See if I can find it. Uh, yeah, there it is. Right here. And I'll just jump down here and there we go. Add this and loop loop achievement got <laughs> achievements and I still have six. Let's see. Yeah, in transit, acquire four different equ equipable. Oh, do I actually have to pick them up? That might be the that might be the thing. Um, let's see. If I want to pack a punch something, what am I gonna want to pack a punch? The B23. I kind of want to pack a punch this just because I've never done it before. Bus, please do not leave. Turn off the power and hope that tombstone is back. So unfortunately, it takes an hour for the power to turn both on and off. And I don't think that every time you turn on the power that the Avogadro will come back. Oh, don't do that. But, uh, let's see, let's see. It should be right there. And of course the bus is leaving. You know what? Screw the bus. And then Dr. Maxis talks. Oh, shoot. Forgot about this. And... You. Nope. Oh, the bus is gone. Um. Where else could it be? I. This is really the only place I've seen it. I guess I could explore the town. I don't want to waste this any more than I have to. I guess I could explore the town to see if it would spawn in there, but. Unless, once you turn on the power, it's just gone forever. But I don't think that they would do that. That doesn't make any sense. So, this is where you place the turbine. And apparently there's like a giant cable. Or like a... Oh, I probably shouldn't have done that already. Yeah, apparently there's like a giant cable or some kind of wireless thing that just like travels from all the way over there to the town and it will create the pack-a-punch machine. Oh, actually it'll unlock the area to get to the pack-a-punch machine. You still have to actually make it. I had to get that. With the means of destruction. So, I want to hurry up and get the F out of here, and I think I might just want to train right around here for a bit. I can always get the 74U if I need it, but hopefully I won't need it. But then again, I do have 10,000 points, so I guess points really isn't a problem. Um, let's see. There we go. Apparently, uh, the characters in this are still making those stupid arm jokes. You you remember those? If you shoot off a zombie's arm, they'd say something about an army, or being disarmed, or something stupid like that. Ooh, insta-kill. Now that I think about it, I don't know if I wanted that. Ah. Oh. Crap. Oh! Look at that. That was like a times four collateral. Unfortunately, I'm pretty sure my turbine's gone. 
So let's just head back to the to the town. Should I buy the M4? Uh, I mean the MP5. Where's the MP5? The MP5 is at the diner. But I also don't have any ammo. I think I might end up just uh going back and forth between these. Yeah, I'll just buy it. And of course it's like impossible to buy guns in this, so I have to go again.